Hello, my name is James Pointer, a shooter behind the project of Portrait of a Wrestler, and I welcome you to this, our latest video looking back at our fellowship project shoot from 2014. Nearing the end of the project now, we're going to take you back to another Revolution Pro Wrestling trainee at the time, a guy called Psycho Phil Edwards. Uh, Phil came down to us uh, from sort of North Hampshire. Um, he's a rugby player uh, when we first met him. He played rugby more than he wrestled. Now I think he wrestles more than he plays rugby. Uh, really, really lovely guy, really open and honest. Um, and he was playing this sort of psycho character, which is really, really cool for sort of like camp shows, kid shows, where you just sort of come out in an orange uh, jumpsuit and just be a little bit wild and a little bit crazy. Um, we're going to take you back to some of the shoots here. We did some real experimental stuff on him. Uh, starting off with this image here. I think it's a one light setup, no kicker light on here. And I think it's one of the first times that we've actually tried to do something different with regards to uh, trying to put some grain and some sort of effects over the edge of it to give it sort of like a textured sort of vintage look. Didn't sit in with the rest of the panel and all the square, but obviously just getting that psycho in in the background and just getting that sort of maniacal laugh out of him was, was sort of like really, really nice. Then a simple one light setup looking straight into the camera. Uh, he's applied some face paint which has taken it to another level and some fake blood on the hands where he's taped his wrist. So all of this is just helping to tell a story, just helping to create sort of like a dynamic portrait. And real air of symmetry in that shot, I like that one. And then bringing the chains with the razor blades. These are razor blades on his hands down here, just round his wrists and just trying to trying to give it a bit more of a narrative from there, really. Um, let's have a look at those just a little bit closer. There you see, these are sort of little razor blades, little chains just round there. And again, just the simple, almost split lighting just coming across. We've underexposed it just a fraction just to give it an air of sort of like a horror movie, give it something a little bit darker, a little bit deeper and desaturated the colours very, very slightly on that one. Black and white, um, quite a wide aperture on this one, probably working somewhere between f4 and f5.6. Fist coming out into the camera, pin sharp on those razor blades, and then going out of focus in the background again, just trying to tell a little bit of a narrative there. Just a slightly different expression on this one, and just bringing it into colour, which brings those oranges and those reds, particularly with the red of the beard and the red of the hair around as well, everything sort of working in uniform colour there. It's one of the first 10x8s that we produced, I maybe wouldn't use this typeset again, but it was what was good for the time. And he wanted to sort of tell this, I suppose, story of like a guy in a prison cell who's like, crazy but happy in, in, in that regard. Um, again, using those effects over the edge. It's all a little bit overkill on this one, but it works quite nicely and does, does help sort of, I suppose, tell the story that we're going for there. And then real extreme looking into the camera here. Wide angle, just going for something a little bit crazy, a little bit wide-eyed. Um, works, works nicely there, especially I like this big handprint on the side here as well. Just wondering where that handprint's come from and who's put that there. And then we're working with this profile shot here, working back into the black and white, which the rest of the panel's working in. Um, it takes away the red of the blood, but I don't want to colour tone because it's a little bit of a dated effect, I suppose. Um, but I think having it in there, you can kind of tell what it is and it's kind of suggestive rather than being too obvious and I kind of like that. I really really thought this profile was quite strong uh, but it was the next image here that we went with for the final panel. Just wide-eyed again wrapping everything around the wrists and the tape and just the chains, the razor blades, the handprint on the chest, uh, the direct contact with the viewer, telling a story, giving us great expression there. That's not just a look into camera, this is we've, we've made him just do something slightly different with those eyes which has just pushed it up into the next level. So it's this image that made it through to the panel, so we're going to pop him uh, in there next to Crusher Curtis. Nearing the end of the panel now, only three guys to go to complete our panel uh, of 20. Uh, one of those will be uh, Jimmy Havoc, and I think we're going to save him from last. If you like what you've seen today, uh, then please uh, like the video, hit subscribe, uh, tell your friends, tell anyone you like. You can Instagram and tweet me at Y2JimBob, it's Portrait of a Wrestler everywhere else, and as ever, all the very best.